and I begin by acknowledging my parliamentary colleagues who are here tonight and candidates, and I know um, Monica Clark is here. I don't know all of the other candidates that might be here, but I, I do welcome them and I thank the forum for the work they do in running these um, public events, which I think are an important opportunity to discuss um, policy and discuss um, some of the issues around the uh, transport system more generally. Now, I, I was the victim of the transport system just coming here tonight, and I'm not alone. We've all experienced that. We know that the congestion is a very real challenge uh, for each and every one of us when we try to move to work or to family engagements uh, or to whatever. And that is a direct result in part of the um, significant population growth that we're experiencing. We saw 143,000 more Victorians last year, about 90% of those coming into uh, Melbourne. So that is part of what we feel. Now, a key solution to that is better public transport and better ways forward um, with the coordination of the resources that we've got in public transport and better focus on how we can actually move people off roads. Roads, of course, will continue to play a significant part. And I'm sure that many tonight will have questions around the road system and how that can operate uh, to the best outcome for our uh, community. Uh, for, the, for the record, um, our party has supported the North East Link proposal and we have some um, focus on actually getting a better outcome than the way the government is proposing to head. We're aware also of the challenge uh, that has come about with the government's decision on the Westgate Tunnel and we oppose that project because uh, we thought it was misguided in the way it was funded and the alignment was not the optimal alignment uh, and therefore we opposed that. Uh, however, we recognise that the government has proceeded with that road, notwithstanding um, parliamentary views and others, um, and the fact is that that road is being built and our opportunity is there to maximise the outcome for the community for what is a significant um, investment with significant tolls. And we have said in that context that we would support an east-west link connecting that road to the northeast link, not leaving um, um, traffic to funnel on to our eastern freeway, not supporting tolls on the eastern freeway, and not supporting a disjointed approach to road uh, um, transport. Beyond that, we've said a great deal too about public transport and particularly our rail sector and we've made a number of announcements about the country services that we think should be upgraded, whether it's to Shepparton, uh, increased services to Ararat, the um, long haul country rolling stock that we think will play a significant role and would be ordered in our first term of government, $633 million for that order. And country is important for our metropolitan area too because we believe there needs to be a focus on decentralising some of the population growth and that is in the interests of Melbourne and the interests of our uh, capital city as well as the whole state. We want to be a, a state of cities, not a, a massive heaving city state of congestion. So. Um, part of the solution, and I emphasise just part, is a, is a policy of um, decentralisation. We will have much more to say about that as we go forward. In the city, we've already made a number of announcements and there will be more made as we come towards the election. We've announced extension of rail lines in uh, some of the areas in, in the south and southeast, and also the um, duplication of the line between Greensboro and Eltham, which is an important um, step. One of the things I'd say is that this government uh, has done a significant amount in terms of uh, projects. It has mismanaged many of those projects, uh, badly mismanaged them. So the level crossing removal project uh, is a good project in concept and it's, we support level crossing removals. 
but that project has been comprehensively botched in the way it's been delivered. It is now more than 60% over its original budget, um, more than $3.1 billion over the, um, the budget. And even good projects, I would say, governments have a responsibility to manage properly and to manage prudently in a financial sense. If you had another $3 billion on the original estimate, um, you would have been able to do a great deal more uh, with that, um, that project. Now, there is an infrastructure backlog. Labor has been in power for 15 of the last 19 years. 15 of the last 19 years. And in fact, one of the key issues is that the population growth has been very significant, particularly in the last decade or so, and the challenge is there for us to keep up with that significant uh, population growth. We will be making further announcements. Obviously, um, other key steps are going to be important as well. The um, bus system needs to be substantially improved, and we will be focusing on bus um, movements and actually getting a better outcome with our bus uh, system. In fact, bus patronage is falling, bizarrely, in a system where we've got more people and more congestion. We've got more people on trains, but less people using buses. It fell by about 4% last year. So we need to make our bus system work better, make it connect better with other modes of transport, and have a much more significant role for our bus uh, system, and we will be saying more about that as we go forward. We've also got to make sure that there's some of the cycle uh, connections and cycle paths are improved and that pedestrians actually have that um, support that they need across our system too. And when we put in place a new um, uh, uh, rail step, uh, we need to get things right. So um, in the case of the Rosanna a road level crossing, you know, there's been a terrible outcome in terms of the local uh, community and particularly the traders who have been um, devastated by many of the, uh, the outcomes there and indeed their businesses have been very significantly hit. So this set of projects has got to be managed properly. Uh, what I would also say is that you need to run the trains and the trams and the buses effectively. So on the um, the line that we, we are served by in this area here, we've actually seen a decline in performance under the current government. And, and I think it's important to get that you know, deeply clear. Um, the uh, punctuality has fallen. The number of cancellations has almost doubled compared to November uh, 2014 to the July month. So um, there's a number of key things that I think have got to be dealt with. Quality of service, punctuality, Safety, all of these are key issues.